Hi, thank you for tuning in. I am Ambarish, a Mumbai-based Microsoft Certified Professional, and this MS Teams video is about creating, sending, and canceling meeting requests using MS Teams. So, I'm on the Teams section right now, and I will have to go to the calendar section, so I can hit uh, Control Numeric 4, or just use the mouse and click on uh, Calendar. There you go, I'm in the calendar. Obviously, I can click on New Meeting, which is uh, a rectangular uh, button on the right side, top right side. However, I don't really have to do that, okay? I can just double click within the calendar, and there you go, I've been able to uh, uh, fetch the interface from where I will be able to send out a meeting request. Okay, so let's say the meeting is about planning of Power BI training, right? So let's assume that I'm planning a training on Power BI and I would like uh, Pradeep to be a part of the discussion. I would also like Sneha to be a part of the discussion and maybe Tripti as well. So you can see I'm just hitting tab after initializing the name of the person. So just the first few characters and then tab. Now you can obviously type in the complete email address manually or simply copy paste the email address from somewhere if the names are not appearing in the drop down. Okay, now I would like this meeting to uh, take place on the 16th of June, let's say. So I select 16th of June. I would prefer a morning meeting. Uh, so let's say 9.30 a.m. And I know that the meeting will take 90 minutes. So let's say 11 a.m. is the end time. And it quickly shows up one hour and 30 minutes as the duration right there. Now, does this meeting have an occurrence? Well, no, this is a one-time meeting. If not, I can obviously select from the options available in the drop-down. If it's a case of uh, this meeting happening every Tuesday or maybe Tuesday and Friday. So right now, I will not change that. Okay, would I like to send this meeting request in one of my teams? Well, yes, let's say apart from these uh, members, I would also like members of the channel let's say power bi training so there's, there's a channel here just scroll down there's a channel here that says uh, okay yeah business intelligence awareness training so i would also like this meeting to appear in that channel so i can select it right location obviously i will leave blank this is going to happen on ms teams it's online and if i have an agenda that I would like to type. I can obviously use this uh, white space to type. Otherwise, I am done. I can hit send. You can see the send button right here. I can click send and that's it. You can see that the meeting has been sent out. So I can click on the calendar. I can go to 16th of June. There you go. And uh, since this was a morning meeting, I will have to just scroll up because I do have some uh, sessions, meetings in the later half of the day so i scroll up and there you go it does show this meeting which is planning of power bi training i can just double click and i can join when the right time arrives yeah all right now let's click on close okay now let's go to the teams section so i click on teams control 3 is the shortcut i can go to the team and the respective channel so it was business intelligence awareness training that was the channel i click on the channel and there you go you can see that the meeting is appearing right here in the channel as well right so uh, because we selected the channel it's also appearing in the channel just for the ease of the members of that channel okay now if i wish to cancel i can go to the calendar again i can just uh, select the appropriate uh, event so it was the event on 16th of june planning of power bi training i can double click and i can click on cancel uh, if i wish to make minor modifications i can obviously do that so let's say i change the time from 9 30 start to let's say 10 a.m start so see this button here has now become send update so i can do that Right. right now, let's say I wish to cancel, so I can just click on cancel meeting. It's asking me if I wish to punch in some reason for uh, the cancellation. So maybe I can type, will arrange the 
discussion next week maybe and i can say cancel meeting and i'm done so if you see the 16th of june now the morning slot is completely empty right if i go to the teams section you can see that the meeting has been cancelled here hey thank you so much for watching i hope you've liked this video stay tuned for more videos and have a great one bye